Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to connect one of these RC FPV camera to your mobile phone. I had the same question myself and the truth is that the instructions on the uh, Chinese websites where you can buy these FPV cameras are not very detailed about what you need to do in order to connect your video camera to your mobile phone. First of all, I looked um, and searched for an information about the input wirings, you know, what voltage should I apply, on what wires, how do I um, power this thing. And I noticed that it has three wires, like red, black and yellow. I can tell you that, that the red wire is the plus, the minus is the black and the yellow one is a control that you can use to uh, take snapshots and some other things if your drone has this possibility of sending this um, control um, command through the yellow wire uh, if it's connected to the remote control. Now, how do you actually power this thing and uh, how do you see images on your mobile phone? I have my power supply already set to 3.9 volts and you can use voltages between 3.7 and 4.2 volts on these two uh, power wires. Um, given the fact that the voltage of a normal um, lithium ion cell is usually between 3.7 and 4.2 volts. So what I'm going to do is just connect these wires to my power supply and I can read the current of about 220 milliamps at around 4 volts so it's roughly about 1 watt you can see that there are some LED lights blinking inside uh, telling you at least that you connected the power correctly you will notice that in the beginning it will draw uh, less current like 100 milliamps and once it, it boots up uh, and it starts working it will uh, draw around 225 milliamps or something like this. Now on the manufacturers websites you, you always find some QR code that they give you with the package is a QR code they don't really say what you should do with it like they they tell you to uh, search for um, the Wi-Fi network uh, of the video camera and then to scan the code and to do something with it but it's not very clear um, what I did I just went to the um, Wi-Fi menu, enabled it and then when you go to the uh, list of the Wi-Fi networks you usually see a network like this FPV Wi-Fi 33AF for the name of your video camera. Now it usually connects automatically without uh, the need of a password or something. It, if it doesn't connect automatically all you have to do is press the connect button and it will connect. After that I just went to um, my uh, to the Play Store and downloaded an app that looks pretty much like this. It's called SEMA FPV Plus. There are many other apps that you can use but um, I installed this one. Now all you need to do is turn on the app and it should automatically connect to your video camera. Now this is how it's working. It has just a little bit of a lag and I don't know if this, um, this is good or not. Um, you'll have to get used with like uh, a small lag of 300 milliseconds or something like this. Now 
if this is the main screen of the app if the app doesn't uh, start automatically and it doesn't display the um, video uh, stream automatically all you need to do is press start here and it will uh, start the video streaming you also have some buttons here one of them is for uh, taking videos with um, your uh, mobile phone it will record basically the um, videos that are streamed by the video camera and save them into your mobile phone's memory and you also have another button for uh, snapshots for taking pictures after you um, save the videos or you, uh, the pictures in your mobile phone you can connect your mobile phone to uh, your laptop and download them um, there are different um, qualities, different resolutions. Um, this one, it's a VGA camera, so don't expect too much resolution or too much quality, too much clarity um, from it. Now I really think you enjoyed my video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.